very large exhale. These things are great for feeling around at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, I think just moving around. Also looking for a little tasty treats to eat. Oh, beautiful. Now this is the in between the two large antennas here. You guys are going to find four tiny little attenuals. <laughs> now these tiny little attenuals are my lobster's nose. And when the lobster gets into a fight with another lobster, first thing they do is they pee, generally, into the nose of a <laughs> lobster. Now that's a very important part of a lobster's fight, because believe it or not, these lobsters have exactly the same size brain as a grasshopper. You guys don't know how big your grasshopper's brain is, I give you. It's a bit a the tip of the ball point head hair. I don't care how big my lobster's body gets, his brain is always going to be this side. Now lobsters, believe it or not, can remember the smell of another lobster if they have had a fight with for Ow. one week. So if you stick two lobsters in a tank that have met in the field of battle, they are going to pee in each other's feces and then immediately run to opposite sides of the tank. Or do you have figured out who's the stronger of the two of them? They really don't need to fight again. On my lobster, you guys are going to find a crusher claw on one side. You guys are going to find a shredder claw on the other side. Now, crusher claws have 100 pounds per square inch of pressure. If you were to get crazy, pull off this rubber band, insert the finger. The folks standing watching sunset on the top of Cadillac Mountain up there are going to hear you scream. And everyone on the boat is going to hear a nice sound of crunch. And that is going to be the sound of your fingers breaking in half. <laughs> ah, now, shredder claws to 